What is going on, YouTube? Metal Complex here, and welcome to the live stream. Sorry, we started just a little bit late because I got home a little bit late, and it took me just a sec to set up, but I've got everything set up and laid out. Um, so we'll get this started here in a sec. I think it's pretty straightforward. I decided to bring the, the sticker wheel back um, because we did that a while back, and uh, it was a lot of fun, and I had a little bit of a different game that I was playing, but tonight, I'm just going to do, instead of like, you know, X amount equals X amount of spins, I'm going to make this a little bit easier for me to keep up with and a little bit more fair for people who want to utilize it. Basically, any amount that you want to donate, including $1 or one cent or whatever, uh, it will get you a spin and you can win uh, the items listed here or the items shown here. There's stickers, there's some magnets, some other cool stuff, just some fun stuff because we're about to hit... 30,000 subscribers and I know people ask me about stickers all the time right normally I sell them uh, uh, you know a few of them but I figured out uh, this is a good way for people to get some get their hands on some stickers and not have to hardly pay anything so yes hello what is going on Cal Roberts hello Hamzad Kareen hello yes welcome everybody welcome to the live stream uh, one moment I have literally had absolutely nothing <laughs> to sip on yet. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a laid back episode because next, well, it'll be fun because we're going to do sticker wheel for anybody who wants to utilize that. Um, but uh, next weekend is going to be the um, the super crazy uh, multi knife giveaway live stream. But I thought this would be kind of interesting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hey, that's okay, Battered Hilt. I hope you uh, I hope you recover. Um, sorry to hear that, but no no worries at all. Um, it's not it's this is more so just for the people who you know I, I like to like people who donate are awesome, but it's like they just give and then they get you know like I'm always gonna make content no matter what, right? So if I could I figure if I can give something back immediately to people who want to do that, then great. I'm gonna keep a list of people who decide to use it. And we can, uh, you can exchange emails with me if you decide. I'll, I'll keep a list. I'll write people's names down. Um, and uh, then we can communicate via email. And I'll make sure and send you the stuff that you're wanting to pick up. So let's see here. Good evening. Dirk Warning, hello. Uh, Lucas Barth wants a shout out. All right. Shout out to Lucas Barth. Wanted to snag one of those smocks, but had work. Well, don't worry. Because if you watch the unboxing, you'll know that next week I'm going to be giving this away along with a whole bunch of other awesome knives. So, yeah. Um, as per usual, if you'd like to join Knights of the Round, there is a link right at the top of the description. You'll gain access to the badging system, which are those little colored helmets you'll see next to the names of some of the people in the chat. You'll also gain access to the exclusive Excalibur emojis, which uh, my knights can show off now if they want to. But yeah, if you'd like to, you can utilize that uh, by clicking on the first link in the description. Oh, the, um, the actual stream is not moving. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now we can see it. Yeah, nice. So here's how this works. You use Super Chat for any amount. You get one spin and we go click, 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 click. And then whatever it lands on, you get that. So in this case, it would be a Hollow Knight sticker. It doesn't matter if you want to send, you know, one dollar. That's fine with me. It's just a way for people to get their hands on stickers because I, most of the time, stickers are exclusive to uh, my patrons. But hey, if nobody wants to utilize that at all tonight, that won't hurt my feelings either. I just, it seems like I get an odd amount of questions about stickers, um, and I'd like some of these to be. These are ones that I can be. There, there we go. Mr. John Walker, haven't been on in a while. Hope, hope everything has been going great. Thank you so much, Mr. John Walker. And also Stacy from Bolstered Blades. Let me write your names down real quick and then we'll do some spins. John M. Walker. Oh, we've got a few more. Okay, and then Stacy, thank you very much. Stacy Bolstered Blades. And uh, M also. So first up, we're gonna do John. Here we go, John, you have one hey oh that's a cool one so this is actually a magnet good job you've got a magnet just shoot me an email at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com and we will uh get your shipping info stacy up next 
Stacy's got a healthy supply of stickers because she is a patron. Stacy wins an MC logo sticker. And M, final spin for right now. Here we go. Can everybody see the thing? I hope so. Uh, oh, nice. One of the cyan ones. I had to put one rare one on there. So the cyan sticker for M. All right, good deal. So that's how that works. Uh, let's see here. Uh, don't forget to give a like. Yeah, you can. You can like the live stream. We've only got a few people in here right now, but that's fine. Um, let's see here. Unrelated are probably going to pick up Little Native tomorrow. Hey, that's cool. I mean, the Little Native is awesome. I liked the Little Native way, way more than I thought I would. Honestly, I really, really liked the Little Native. Sorry, let me switch that back. Make sure that that's straight there on camera. Good deal. All right. Um, where are we at here? We make sure that we are caught up. Um... Oh, yeah, for sure. Plants Crafter, thank you very much for that donation. Very, very kind of you. Um, sorry, my live stream is way back. Planes Crafter, one second here. Planes Crafter. Uh, thank you very much for that donation. Like I said, people who have uh, have spins, email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com. Send me your shipping info so I can get that shipped out. And Planescrafter wins a Hollow Knights. Nice. Hollow Knights. And we have one more spin to go. Glock Shooter 24. Hope everyone's weekend is going well. Mine sure is. We went to the pumpkin patch today with the kids. They had a blast. Found some I whenever I go to a pumpkin patch, I like to pick I like to find the weirdest <laughs> the weirdest, ugliest pumpkins I can. I just think that's fun. So yeah, that's what we did today. Glock Shooter 24. Here we go. And Glock Shooter won a Cyanide as well. Nice. Um, 24 Cyan. All right. Good deal. So, yeah, like I said, people who have spun and won something, make sure that you email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com right up there so that you can claim your or send me your shipping information. How is the compression lock, Lucas Barth? The compression lock is... That's one of the best locking systems in, for one-handed manipulation out there. It's pretty darn strong, right? It's not as strong as the triad lock, but you really don't need that much strength. Truthfully, most of us don't need that much strength in the lock. Uh, but yeah, I would say a little, maybe a little bit stronger than a standard liner lock, but one-handed manipulation is beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Me too, Stacy. I like the weird ones. <laughs> we picked up a couple of striped yellow and green ones and uh, we found some little white ones, like perfect little white, like miniature pumpkins. Found them growing right out of the ground. It was crazy. I love stuff like that. I think that's fun. Um, let's see here. If you do super chat, get entered for the knife giveaway. No, that's next weekend. This is just for fun tonight. I've just got the wheel out for people who want to get a sticker. You can donate any amount you want. There's no inch. There's no specific amount. It can be whatever. And I'll give you a spin, you'll win, you'll win every single time. There's no space on that. It's not a gamble. It's just for people who want to use Super Chat and I get to give you a sticker. Because I've got lots of stickers and you guys always donate even when I don't have things to give you. So this is just a way for me to you know, give you some more stuff. But yeah, next weekend, there's going to be a gigantic knife giveaway live. Absolutely. Yeah, Zell saying, that's a nice looking wheel. Everybody, Zell Beaverly in the chat actually made this wheel. Uh, crafted it by hand using a uh, Lazy Susan bearing. And this is all wood and it's all custom made. Very cool. Thank you very much, Zell. Corbin Stewart, love all the great content. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Mr. Corbin Stewart. Let me write your name down here real quick and we'll give it a spin. Corbin Stewart. And Corbin, make sure you email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping information because you have just won a magnet right here. Magnet, another magnet, very cool. Um, let's see here, magnet. And then we have Amateur Knives. Finally pulled the trigger and picked up a Spartan Harzy today. Totally worth it. It definitely is. The Spartan Harzy is a, fan. if you're gonna spend money in that price range, that's one of the best knives you can pick up, absolutely. One second, let me write your name down. M -A -T -E. You are knives and amateur knives spin. Here we go, ready. And Paul, I'll get to you here in just one sec. Thank you so much for the donations, guys. Uh, amateur, you've got a Hollow Knights. Nice. 
Those are great. I have one of those in the back of my cell phone. I think that's what people do with those. And Paul uh, S A R G E N T S A R G E N T. Thank you so much for that donation. And Paul, you have won a Hollow Knights. Nice. Hollow Knights. There we go. Got you down. Make sure you send me an email at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping information. Should I put that closer where people can... Can you guys see it? Probably. All right. Uh, it's Albert Tipton. What's going on, man? I'm doing um, I've got the, what I call the Wheel of Fate out here, and we're just uh, I'm just spinning it for people who want to use Super Chat, and they can you can win stickers. It doesn't. There's no certain amount. You can. It's whatever. What I mean, if it's even one penny, um, it's just uh, I've got a lot of stickers, and people always ask me about them. So I figured, hey, why not? This is a fun way to do that. All right, let's see. What are your thoughts on Ballastong slash Butterfly Knives MC? Um, so I think they're cool, and there's really high end ones, and there's uh, like, you know, the cheapy ones or whatever. Obviously, people like them because they're fidgety and you can do tricks with them and things like that. I think in terms of a practical EDC, it, it makes almost no sense whatsoever. Um, and also because of the design, a lot of them are not, like, a lot of the end results are not ergonomic. Like, not it's not a knife that I would want to use um, in varying circumstances. Like, there's not a lot of versatility. Also, the blades, because of how they're made, they tend to not be super tall, um, and so the geometry is not always great. Obviously, there's a lot of different types of them. I think they're neat. I respect people who can do the tricks. Not super practical. You can use it, for sure, but not super practical versus other things that are out there. Uh, Dome Roamer, thank you so much for that donation. Tell my buddy Eric the tip down is just wrong. Yeah, sorry, Eric, tip down's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you can put your pocket clips and your and th the tips of your knives wherever you you know up or down is fine. I, on a flipper tab, I would definitely recommend with a flipper knife especially tip up. What makes more sense, and I'll talk about that here in a sec. On a thumb stud opener, whatever it's your preference. Flipper's not safe to carry. Um, tip down. All right, dome roamer. Uh, let's go ahead and spin for dome. Dome Rummer, we have a MC logo sticker. Congrats. Make sure you email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com uh, and send me your shipping information. Let's see. And then we have Dylan Pellman. How's the state coming along? How's the state coming along? I don't know. I don't know what that means. The state. The state of Kansas? Oh, uh, they're doing fine. Oh my gosh, we've got some more donations. Let's go ahead and catch up here. Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N, uh, Pellman, we have, click, 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 uh, magnet, nice, it's an MC magnet, or an MC uh, helmet magnet, and then we have uh, Brosif M96, 96, I'm writing these down so that you guys don't email me and try to trick me into sending you a sticker. <laughs> um, let's see here. Thank you so much for that notion. What's my favorite beater knife? Uh, here lately, it's been the rat. Like, it's always been the rat. I love the uh, Civivi Praxis, and soon, probably the SR1, because I've got a Cold Steel SR1 Lite that I really, really like, and that's probably going to be um, uh, the uh, the one that I, or it's going to be a new favorite beater for sure. Uh, you want a blue MC Knight helmet uh, sticker. Um, let's see here. Did we do Gross of M96 and then Dylan? Oh, how's the stash coming? Uh, it's just growing in heavy. It grew in really fast. Um, Dylan. Um, let's see here. Wait, did Dylan do two? Yeah, okay, I'm going to give you another spin, Dylan. Um, so for uh, Dylan Pellman, we have one more spin. Let's get back to the knife stuff here in just a sec. Um, another uh, magnet, actually. Nice. And then we have another one to do, Caleb Rogers. Caleb Rogers. Your spin, good sir. Here we go. And Hollow Knights, nice, congratulations. Okay, guys, again, make sure you email me right there. Send me your shipping information so that we can get it to the right place. Anyways, let's see here. Slicey, is Slicey in here? What's up, Slicey? There we go. Oh, uh, wait, uh, 3.25 inch what? 
slice of dice. I didn't know that they had a smaller version. I have to look into that. A 3.25 inch what? Very curious to find out what you guys are talking about. Excuse me. Ah. Um, let's see here. Got a white squiddy. Oh, a 3.25 inch Harzi. Interesting. There's a lot of handle room on that design. That might work. So the blade's probably what? Seven inches overall? Seven and a quarter? Three and a, three and a quarter inches of blade, I'm going to guess it's seven to seven and a quarter inches overall. Interesting. Is Spyderco made the Native 5 with a compression slash ball bearing? I wouldn't need another knife. Well, the Lil Native is exactly that. The Lil Native is literally that. <laughs> That's a compression lock. Basically, a compression lock native five or mini shaman, however you want to look at that. Stacy has another spin. Thank you so much, Stacy. Uh, let me write your name down one, one second here. All right, here we go, Stacy. We have a Hollow Knights. I think Stacy's got a few Hollow Knights. I do giveaways on Patreon. Stacy's a patron and she probably has a healthy supply of some of my others. I've got some exclusive stickers for Patreon that you're not seeing here that are pretty sweet. Um, and then I do some other stuff there too. Um, like I said, anybody wanting to join Knights of the Round, you can find that link right at the top of the description. Uh, you'll gain access to the badging system, which are the different colored helmets next to people's names in the chat, and access to the sword emojis that you're seeing periodically here in the chat as well. Steven Phillips, Microtech Dirac or Guardian 35 for Office EDC? Man. So if we're talking about this, okay, the large Dirac, the Dirac Delta, definitely not. But for Office EDC between the Guardian, so the Guardian 35, the Guardian Tactical uh, Recon 35 is so smooth. And it's not a big or bulky knife, but the Dirac, the standard Dirac is nice and small and it's a thinner profile. For, like functionally, it's hard. I mean, they're both great. Yeah, I don't think you can choose wrong, but I think the Dirac probably would make the better office EDC. It's just a little bit smaller, more compact, not quite as thick. Sorry, one sec, writing your name down, Steven. I saw we had another donation there, so we'll get to that one as well. Ah, uh, Steven Phillips. And Steven Phillips, your spin, good sir, is resulting in an MC logo sticker. Nice. Congrats. Again, make sure and email me with your shipping information. Paul Sargent, write your name up here. And thank you so much for that donation, Paul. Here we go. Here's your spin. Directs are all double-edged. Yes, so I see. I believe so. Magnet for Paul. Nice, congratulations. Again, guys, if you want something, make sure and email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com and send me your shipping information. Lavender Pants, what's up, man? I'm spinning the wheel. Uh, tonight we're doing any any super chat amount, you get a spin. Uh, if you want to win a sticker, if you don't have stickers or you just want more, uh, just it's just for something that people seem to like the whole like, you know, some people plan to utilize super chat anyway. People like, like having something happen when you use it. So I figure, this is just something else. Instead of you guys just, you guys are awesome for donating. I love that. People will do that anyway. And then uh, it used to be, I was just like, thanks. <laughs> and then nothing would happen. So Zell built me this wheel for exactly this reason, not to incentivize using it, but to be able to at least give something back. There's so obviously a lot of different things we can use for this wheel, or I can use this wheel for. And so far it's basically just been used for stickers, which is fine. Um, it works really well for that. Ah, nice. Yeah, Paul, thank you very much. Good deal. Double edge is always going to scare folks more than single edge. Yeah, th th he's right. It like people are like one edge is scary, two edges is twice as scary. It doesn't make any sense, but that's certainly how it is how people think. Ah, uh, let's see here. I know the Guardian's action is buttery smooth, but I like the looks of the direct. Yeah, I'm the same way. Um, I like the placement of the firing switch on the Dirac better, um, but the smoothness of the switch is certainly better on the Recon 35. Max Cordova, one second here and I'll get that spin for you. Thank you so much. 
Uh, thank you. Oh boy, a whole bunch of them in. Okay, sorry. One sec here, Max. We have a uh, Metal Knights, um, a Hollow Knight. And let's see here, uh, Q1 Fiends, Q1 F-I-E-N-D. Uh, let's go ahead and spend for Q1. Thank you so much for that donation. And you, sir, have won an MC uh, logo sticker. And let's see here, M. Your son wants a sticker? Okay, no problem, M. I'm gonna put another one by your name. And your son won the uh, uh, the blue night helmet sticker. Sorry, writing. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Uh, let's see here. I needed to consult the extras when I first saw. Uh, let's see here. New to your channel. What are some of your hobbies besides knives? I love to play video games. Uh, I love to work out. Um, I like heavy metal music. Um, I don't know. I like being outside. I like, uh, I've got a lot of uh, home projects. We own our home and we bought it with the idea of uh, changing some things. Um, we're adding a room in the basement um, and the backyard was basically a blank canvas. So I like stuff like that. Um, definitely, definitely into all that stuff. And I also, I, I mean, I, I spend a lot of time watching YouTube, honestly. Um, but yeah, those are the, my main hobbies. Max Tikander, thank you so much. Let me write your name down here. Max T I K A N D E R. Uh, I need some stickers for my next Apache case for sure, man. Well, let's go ahead and spin. Alrighty, you have won an MC logo. Um, uh, sticker there. So, uh, make, guys, again, if you want something, please email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping information. We'll get those out next week. Um, let me find your name again. I wrote it. There we go. Uh, you won the MC logo sticker. There we go. Good deal. All right. Lavender Pants. <laughs> uh, I laugh every time I say his name out loud. Hope I land on a slicey dicey sticker. I have some. I have a whole bunch of slicey stickers. I should have put one out there. <laughs> uh, the large MC helmet. I don't think anybody's landed on that tonight, or maybe just one other person. Large helmet. Congrats, lavender pants. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> um, that was one of my favorites. Uh, anyone have any ideas of why I would have solid lock up and liner lock? But if I squeeze it hard enough, I get blade play in all four directions. Um, it could be that if you're squeezing it really hard and there aren't, like if there's not a substantially sized backspacer or there aren't enough standoffs to keep the structural integrity all in a straight line, it could be that it's actually changing the geometry of your liner lock or the, the way that it interacts with the tang of the blade. That would be my guess. I think Al the Science Pal is in here. He probably would be able to explain that better. I don't know. Troy Jones, thanks for the donation, buddy. One sec. Troy Jones. Uh, here we go for Troy Jones. Troy Jones. Okay. Um, large helmet. Large helm. Congratulations. And David Payne. David P A Y N E. Uh, David Payne. Let's go ahead and spin for David Payne. Here we go. Gosh, you guys are on. Thank, I'm starting to realize the wheel is creating incentive, uh, an incentive to spin. Sorry, that wasn't my intention. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys are liking it. This is fun. David Payne uh, won a magnet, actually. Uh, sorry, let me find your name again. Magnet, and we have another one there, Josh L. Hey, I hope you're having a good night. I am. I'm actually. I'm, I'm having a great night. It's pretty rare. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm usually in a really good mood. I I usually don't don't get down, um, but I'm having a great night tonight as well. Thank you. Hope everybody else is having a great night too. Josh L. Taking home a Hollow Knight. Congratulations. Uh, make sure you guys, anybody who wants a sticker, make sure you email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping information so that I can actually send you the sticker. Do not email me if you didn't win. I'm writing the names down. <laughs> yes, yes, sneakers. 
All right, I have to change the page. Wow, I did not expect that many people to do that. Uh, anyways, all right. Does anybody have any questions about the knives out on the table? We have the Civivi Duris. Can we can we see Civivi Duris? Very nice. We have Super K's custom Strider Co scales uh, on the Spider Co Shaman. This is great. We're about to do a review on that. Uh, the the uh, MBK VLD. Very nice. Oh, we have another donation. Floydian, what's up, man? Always love your live streams, MC. Well, thanks, man. I always appreciate it when you're in here. One sec. Let me write your name down. Floydian214. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. By the way, when you guys send me an email, please tell me who you were. <laughs> tell me what your YouTube name is um, so that I can actually match it up and send you the right sticker. Um, if you've already sent your email with your YouTube name, then great, that's fine. But if you haven't, if you send an email with just your shipping information, you have to tell me what your YouTube name is because that's the name that I'm writing down. So if you haven't done that, send another email. But yeah, if you want a sticker, send me an email with your YouTube name and your shipping information so that I can actually get it to you because I can't get it to you otherwise. Anyways, Floydian214, here we go. And yeah, MC Night sticker, uh, small, nice, good deal. Congratulations. All right, what do we got here? Uh, Professor EDC, what's up, Professor EDC? How's it going? Red smock looks really nice. I agree. I really want to keep that, but I bought it specifically to give away to you, fine folks, because I knew that there'd be people who'd want it. And couldn't get a hold of it because it's sold out. Um, yes, it is the Odium. And I like it a lot. Nice tiny little knife you can get a full purchase on. That forward choil. Uh, scales are contoured and shadow box. Very nice. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Man, I have so many knives to give away <laughs> for 30k next week. And... I probably could have done it this weekend because there were like 200 people who subscribed yesterday because of the smock video, right? Nobody cares until... <laughs> There's a bunch of people watching who were like, I didn't care until he said he was going to give away a smock. But yeah, I probably could have done it this weekend. We're, I don't know, 29,870 right now, something like that. Thoughts on inlays, carbon fiber versus micarta. If I'm going to have an inlay um, and it's micarta, I'm almost always going to want a black inlay. I like carbon. I prefer carbon fiber as an inlay material, honestly. Um, but that's just, I don't know. That's just me. I think some designs do it better. Some designs, I think uh, micarta is more appropriate uh, aesthetically. Maybe if it's more of a, a design that has a kind of a, a vintage foundation to it. My car, I associate micarta with more vintage -y sort of, um, I don't know classy looking knives, right? Micarta on tactical knives looks a little bit funny. Um, but define that how you will, right? It's just, a, it's a gut feeling kind of thing. Carbon fiber, I think, looks better on the knives that I'm interested in. Troy Jones, I'm just gonna say it. I know I'm not the only one who wants to see, but can you open that XM18 one more time? Sure, sure, absolutely. This is uh, my workhorse. i name named the other two, right, get it? Light mare, dark horse, this is the workhorse. This is the user. Full titanium, Gen 6, XM18, three and a half inch standard thickness, harpoon spanto uh, in S35VN, kind of a rare bird there. Um, and then full tie. That's a smooth, unmilled scale, because that's the way I like it. Basic 912 blades, thank you so much for the donation. Let me write your name down here real quick. Uh, basic 912 blades. Ah, let's go ahead and spin. Here we go. Basic, you have won a magnets. Congratulations. Again, if you want something, for the love of all things that are good, email me with your shipping information and your YouTube name because I'm writing down your YouTube name. So if I can't connect it, I can't send you the appropriate sticker. So please email with your YouTube name that you're using in the chat right now and your shipping information. Slicey Dicey, if someone kicks in $20, I'll put one of MC's dumb stickers on my truck. 
<laughs> but I get to pick which one. Hey, that's a uh, that sounds awesome. So yeah, if somebody wants to do that, um, I'll Slicey, I'll uh, I'll send you my full uh, the the full array. I'll send you the full deal. There you go, <laughs> Lavender, the kind gent that he is. <laughs> I'll send you all the stickers I've got, uh, or I'll send I'll send you a, a picture, and then you pick, and I'll send it to you, Slice. Um, let's see here. All right. Oh wait, he wants to pick one from the board. Slicey, do you want to just pick one? Do you want me to spin for you, and I'll send you that one, and I'll just send you uh, <laughs> the uh, everything that I've got. <laughs> you tell me. I'm gonna go ahead and spin for Slicey anyway, and he, he'll just he'll get one for a spin, and then he can tell me what he wants me to do. Almost getting that rare for the board cyan sticker. That's the flashy one for the evening. But he did get a magnet. Uh, I've never done magnets before up until just now, so yeah. And of course, lavender. You get another spin too for being kind. <laughs> All right, lavender pants. Here we go. Lavender pants. The pants that are lavender. Okay, he got a hollow knight. Sometimes I start a sentence and realize that it's not going anywhere, so I just sing it like uh, resolving a melody and then move on. All right, good deal. So I see you remind me and I'll send you all. I got a whole bunch of stuff. You can pick the one that you think looks good for your truck. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Lavender's the man. He is. Lavender's awesome. He's been around for a long time. Long, long time. That's why he's rocking that red helmet, I think, isn't he? Is he? Is Lavender Pants a knight? Wait a minute. Is he a knight? Hold on. Lavender Pants is not a knight. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to push it. I just assumed he was. It's all right. He is in spirit. You are in spirit. It's all right. You don't have to be. I wasn't trying to push you. I wasn't trying to push you. I'm serious. I <laughs> it's okay. I'm seriously, that was not an attempt to like, hey, you should join my membership program. No, it's okay. We love you either way. Ah, hey, Russ Kegel, what's going on? How are you? Slicey misses his purple helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'd like to say that I, uh, I share the same... Um, uh, sorrow, right? But uh, it's, I can't say that out loud. Lavender Pants, welcome to the Knights of the Round. For the first time, apparently, enjoy your badging system, uh, which uh, those badges will change color the longer that you are a knight. And enjoy your exclusive Excalibur emojis. Everybody raise your swords. All hail Lavender Pants for just now becoming a knight. <laughs> if you guys want to join the membership program, right and have this sort of ceremony applied to you there's a link right down at the top of the description where you can access that you'll get a night badge which like i said will change color depending on how long you've been a night and you'll get access to the uh, uh excalibur emojis that you're seeing there in chat some people are using uh sean brian thank you so much for your donation one moment please it's h a u n b R Y A N. Here we go. Spin for Sean Bryan. What's it going to be? It's going to be a Hollow Knights. Congratulations. Make sure that you send me an email. Right there, you can see my email address. Make sure you send me an email at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping information and, most importantly, your YouTube name that you're using in the chat right now so that I know exactly who you are and can match it up with the list that I'm writing out right now. Ah. Oh, interesting slice. You may have been a member. If your card info changes, it unsubs you sometimes. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So yeah, if you were a member of Knights of the Round at one point and you're not seeing a badge by your name, you might want to go back and check. Apparently it does hold your place so you don't start back over at blue. If you had changed, like somebody else right right away when they joined their helmet was green and he was like yeah i was a knight for a while so apparently it does hold your place one minute night video one second here uh 
All right, thanks for the donation. Let's go ahead and spin here real quick. One minute wins the large helmet sticker. Congratulations, large MC helm. Uh, be sure to email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping information. And most importantly, well, the shipping information is just important. Your exact YouTube name that you're using right now. And again, for anybody who sent me an email already and did not include your YouTube name, there's no way for me to send you something unless I can match it up with your actual name. So send me an additional email with all that information. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you're sending a second email, go ahead and include your shipping information again so that I don't have to cross-reference it with an older email. That just makes it easy on me. Uh, let's see here. I'm carrying my first production Benchmade Proper Rain Custom Carbon Fiber Scales. That's cool. Max Cordova, thank you very much for the donation. Um, see, this is working out for me too because I buy so many stickers and uh, I want people to have them. And you know, I feel like I don't give enough stickers away. So this is, this is great for me too. You get a sticker, put it on Instagram. <laughs> Here we go. Max Cordova, ready, set, MC logo, congratulations. I think everybody kind of understands by now. I do this thing where I say the same thing over and over and over again. Um, it's to ensure that people actually do what I'm asking them to do. But yeah, send me your shipping information and your YouTube name in an email. Uh, ooh, I need to plug my computer in. Jeez, my computer almost shut off. Hang on. 7%. What's wrong with me? Amateur hour. Get me on Instagram tomorrow. All right, guys, this year. What's up, man? Kyle Roberts, where's that Evo Typhoon? Impatiently waiting for mine to arrive. I know, we all have to wait until November now. Mine is right up here. My goodness, do I love this knife. Seriously, oh my gosh. Just, just about absolute perfection in a knife. Sad that these are not, you know, constantly available um, because that's one of the best knives that has ever existed. Uh, Riot made M390 carbon fiber. Nice stuff. Kiefer, just made another F-150 scalpel. How's yours? It's fine. You made another one? That's cool, man. Thanks for the donation. Yeah, mine's good now that it's sharp. <laughs> again, it was sharp when you sent it to me the first time. But now it's sharp again. Kiefer, here we go. You have won an MC Blue helmet sticker. Congratulations. Sorry, I'm writing. Make sure to email me with your shipping information and your YouTube name, and I will get that sent to you. Uh, that Evo Typhoon reminds me a lot of my Leong Ma Warrior too. Yeah, uh, they do have similar profiles, that's for sure. I kind of want to get a hold of a Japanese Tanto Evo Typhoon to be a user. This one is a user, you guys can't tell because uh, it, the, it's not coming through at 1080p right now and the autofocus is crazy because it's a live stream. But this is definitely a user. I'll tell you, it makes a wonderful user. Uh, absolutely wonderful. Uh, this knife has uh, got some scratches on it, which is why I was saying you can't tell. Uh, but it's got some scratches on the blade, on the frame. I don't care, it's a user. Um, and uh, the edge, honestly, is rolled in a couple of places for me, really pressing it into a staple on accident. Um, but uh, yeah, um, great knife. And Japanese Tanto is an awesome user blade. How has your quality control experience with Benchmade been? Um, so I would say my exact experience with Benchmade is about 70 to 75% of the time, I get a perfectly acceptable knife from Benchmade. And uh, 25 to 30% of the time, I get a completely and totally functional knife with a really obnoxious flaw like like stupid things like centering odd amount of like left and right blade play or you get a weird wonky uh, uh non-symmetrical edge like stupid little things like that still fully functional and totally adjustable right if it's something like blade play or off centering but god dang it for that much money like get that crap right so i don't have to mess with it after i get it it's not that big of a deal but golly as far as function goes they're fine I've never in my entire life had an Omega Spring Break. Not once. Stacy, bolstered blades. 
Stacy, uh, sorry, hold on. I want to make sure I spell this correctly. All right, Stacy, here we go. Here is your spin. Only two Cyan Knights tonight given away. MC logo sticker. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> if you plan on utilizing Super Chat um, multiple times, you'll need to send me an email. Um, I, well, no, you won't, because it's the same. Never mind. N uh, it, it, nix that. Uh, anyways, my dad is the same mini grip ceiling for three years now. He's never had an issue with it. Yeah, so, I mean, it's one of those things where if something goes wrong, you're way more likely to hear about it than all of the people who are not having issues with their, like, people are like, I don't buy Benchmates because they have Omega Springs, and I always hear about how they break. Well, for all the, you know, the tens of thousands of people who own Benchmade knives that are just fine, that are functioning, they're not going to go on the internet and say, everything's still fine, you know, it's, and on top of that, the, it's the ones, the few people who are like, my Omega Springs broke on the first day, right? That's the stuff that people's gonna li people are gonna listen to. So it's, I would say you have like a one percent chance of the of Omega Spring failure, um, in a in a short amount of time, uh, or less than one percent probably. One minute night video. One second here. All right, one minute night video. You are going to be receiving. Uh, Mm, uh, that's a magnet, is it? Yeah, it's a magnet. Congratulations on your night helmet magnet. Uh, Paul, Sergeant, one moment here. This will be impossible to do if the channel keeps growing, by the way, because if the live streams get really crazy, I can never, <laughs> I can never keep up with this. This is already difficult to keep up with. Paul, Sergeant. Here we go. Ah. Uh, you have won an MC logo, uh, an MC uh, night helmet sticker. Congratulations! Uh, let's see, we had another donation here. Wicked, spin me plus. Can you give me some advice on finding a good place to buy a new XM18 3.5 from? Any pro tips besides Googling? Yes, I can. In fact, I'll give you my favorite place to buy XM18s. I actually set up an affiliate program with them specifically because they are, in my opinion, the very best place to buy Hinder Knives, and that's DLT Trading. If you open the description of my um, video right now, this live stream, uh, right near the top, uh, the top says become a member of the channel, the second one says shop at Blade HQ, the third one says shop at DLT Trading. Click that link and go into their Hinder section, and behold, friend, you have a ridiculous amount of Hinderer Knives uh, to choose from, and they have awesome exclusives, which is why I always recommend it. They also have the largest uh, in-stock supply of custom parts. So if you're looking for, um, you know, parts to build your dream hinderer, uh, I think most people here will agree with me that um, that's probably the best place to do it. Um, one sec here. Oh, Knife Nut 39, welcome to the Knights of the Round. I think you guys are already doing it. Enjoy your badging system and your exclusive amount, uh, uh, exclusive Excalibur emojis. All hail, Knife Nut 39. Wicked. Let me write your name down real quick here. K K E D. And your spin, good sir. Here we go. A uh, large, large MC helmet. Boy, I'm going to be sending a lot of letters. Um, here we go. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, Dominic Romero, 14. F and I need one for my knife box. <laughs> one sec. Dominic Romero 14. Here we go, Dominic Romero. And Hollow Knight. When I say Hollow Knight, I mean like not from Dark Souls, like like uh like holographic, obviously. The stickers are holographic. Congratulations. If you have won a sticker or anything off of this prize wheel. Email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping information and your YouTube name that you're using right now because I'm writing down, that's what I'm doing is writing down all of your names, right? So I gotta cross match it, cross reference it. I gotta make sure that it matches up. Cause I'm, I gotta send you that. So I gotta make sure that it's, it's the right thing. So make sure that you send that information in a single email. I'm sure my inbox just is like, uh, freaking motorhome in a hailstorm right now. <laughs> 
Ah, K Knight Raven M. Thank you for that donation. Let me write your name down. Uh, Knight Raven M. Um, your prize, good sir. Eh, Hollow Knights. Congratulations. I've got enough stickers to, if for whatever reason one of you guys wins something that I run out of, I'll email you and I'll tell you, you know, hey, I ran out of this. Is this okay? But I think I've got enough stickers to uh, make sure that um, everybody gets what they want. Q1 Fiend. Uh, thank you for that donation. Let's go ahead and spin for you, buddy. This is uh, not something I'm going to do all the time, by the way. This is just a just for tonight thing. A magnet. Congratulations. All right. What's a good blade length and steel for a bushcraft knife? Suggestions on any knives are welcome. I'm looking at the tops bush floor. Uh, I don't know a lot about bushcraft knives, but I know they tend to be high saber ground blades. Um, blade length, I think, I don't know. For a but for me, for a, like the ideal bushcraft knife, probably at least four and a, four and a half inches. I want a lot of um, uh, handle room, and I want like a, I probably would want probably I would want a forward choil. Um, four and a half inches gives me lots of cutting edge, even if there is a choil in there. Um, and uh, the overall size of the blade being uh, somewhere between 8.75 and nine and a quarter, right? Um, I think high saber ground and then this, a spine thickness of maybe anywhere from 145 to 165 thousandths. I think I'm describing a good bushcraft knife. You guys can tell me if not, but that's, that's kind of what I want. Um, but somebody else in here is really into that might be able to give you a better answer. Gazosphere, thank you so much for the donation. Just throw it in the box whenever you send my knife back. <laughs> okay, cool, man. Gazosphere. If you have knives uh, sent to me on loan, a, a lot of you are getting your knives back next week. I just did a ridiculous amount of reviews, recorded them um, uh, here last week. Like I was, I was doing six reviews a day. Um, to get uh, get a bunch of stuff up and going and get people's knives back to within the time frames that I promised. So yeah, you're gonna be getting a lot of you're getting your knives back. Gazosphere. MC logo sticker. Congratulations again. Please email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping info and your YouTube name that you're using right now, so I can match it. Oh gosh, two more. Flea, shout out to my knife dealer, Jark. I appreciate you. Hey, that's cool. Flea, thank you so much. Uh, Flea, here we go. You have won a hollow knife. Almost a cyan knife. Only two of those tonight. I ran out of room on the second page. Um, Brian Davenport got my second XM18 because I watched you too much. <laughs> Sorry. If you watch my channel, I'm going to turn you into a hinder nut. Sorry. But that's cool. I'm sure you're enjoying it. Everybody who buys a hinder is like, oh my God, I bought one because I watched your channel and you're right. It's so awesome. I, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are liking that and seeing the quality, right? It's a, that's a lot of money. If you've never spent that much money on a knife before, right? Um, yeah, Hinder is great because you're going to feel that quality right away and it's going to make you feel a lot better about that $425 hole in your bank account. 100%. Brian Davenport. Here we go. You have won an MC logo sticker. Ah... Uh, and oh my gosh we have a whole bunch more thomas mcdermott send to whoever the first commenter under this is that's tim stevens and that was interesting thank you very much thomas uh tim stevens you're actually going to win this sticker at least that's what i'm seeing sometimes people tell me they see different things in the chat than me tim stevens is directly underneath thomas mcdermott tim stevens whoops nope that doesn't count gotta give it a whole spin Stevens has won an MC logo sticker. Cool of you. Pay it forward. Mihir G. Hey, thanks for that donation. That was really, really nice of you. Very, very cool, Mihir. Uh, one sec. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Um, I'm running out of room. Hang on. 
M I H I R G. And here we go. You have one, an MC logo sticker. And I have to find another page to write on because I'm running out of room. Here we go. And let's see here. We have Josh L. Josh, thank you for the donation. Let me write that better. J-O-S-H-L. Josh. And then we have one more before we get back to the... Uh, Josh, you've won a Hollow Knight. And Brian Davenport one more time. Darn it, I've wrote that wrong again. Brian Davenport has one. All right, here we go. Ah, an MC logo sticker, a whole bunch of those in a row. All right. Stacy Bolstered Blades is going to be the last spin of the night because I literally am running out of room. So thank you so much. And also, holy crap, I'm realizing how much work I've created for myself. Stacy Bolstered Blades, last last spin of the night. You can still use Super Chat, but I can't. I, I got to put the wheel away. Uh, my boyfriend says, just send a magnet so he doesn't have to hear me. <laughs> All right. Fair enough, Stacy. I'll send you a magnet. And it's, be, listen, Stacy's a patron. Uh, so, uh, yeah, for sure. I don't mind doing that for you, Stacy. Absolutely. Um, all right. Guys, that was fun. Let me move this. This thing is gigantic. And Zell, being the incredible craftsman he is, made sure that it was unbelievably solid. <laughs> Let me move that here real quick. Hang on. Hang on. Thanks, everybody, for donating. It's great. Uh, I will make sure that those stickers are all shipped um, next week. Uh, definitely, you'll get those stickers next week. Let's move these. Let's move these. Sean Bryan, have you heard of the band Ginger? If not, you need to check them out. They're a four-piece crane metal band. Every member is an absolute badass. That's cool. I love metal, and I don't care geographically where they originate from. So, yeah, I would. If you have Instagram, um, or if you want to email me about that, you can. Say this one more time. If you won something tonight, for the love of all things that are good and just in this world, please email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping information and your YouTube name. It is very important. If you do not send me an email with those two things, I can't send you what you want. Okay? just want to make sure that, that's, that I'm very thoroughly saying that. Oh, but I will leave my Instagram plug out here. Have all of you followed me on Instagram? Hmm, all 104 of you and even the people who didn't like the live stream because there's only 65 likes and 104 people in here? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Andrew Arnold, is this where we get the bird drawings? No, that's birdshot, but you probably know that. I do have a few of those, actually. They sent me some multiple times. I actually requested once because the first time we... Kind of chatted on instagram um i sent them some stickers and they sent me some drawings and they sent me another drawing when they sent me their uh zt0500 which uh, the review is actually coming up fairly soon the review of i don't know i don't know how to do that sentence you guys get what i'm trying to say there all right hey metal complex come on bro bring the freaking wheel back i want the wheel back ah sorry i had to cut it off at some point because i have like freaking 60 letters right on i have to i i don't have labels like mc labels so i write those out it's a lot of work and i had to also do my shipping on mondays as well so that whole day is shot uh for sure not really the whole day but three hours of that day is shot all right let's see here it's my opinion on mirror finishes for utility so a mirror uh finish is going to um accentuate accentuate the corrosion resistance of whatever composition you're using so for example if you're using a d2 blade which is a non-stainless steel right and let's say it's bead blasted the mirror polished one is going to resist corrosion way better than the bead blasted finish because the bead blasted uh, finish will leave little pock marks in the steel and those are moisture traps so it definitely has a benefit there also it's going to be almost frictionless um, so versus any, almost any other, in fact, versus any other finish in the same geometry, right? 
or you know the uh, coating or whatever it's going to pass through material more readily the corrosion resistance thing is probably the major benefit um the uh, the, the the low drag thing is going to be marginal um it will definitely show scratches so if you appreciate it for the mirror finish quality you're going to get it scratched up and aesthetically it's going to lose that appeal but there are other reasons to go with a mirror finish at least that's what i understand about it it's a stream about i'm watching at 4 a.m it's about knives brother knives and nonsense both words beginning with k yeah we just it's usually like my normal channel is i do serious reviews unboxings discussion topics the live streams are usually just uh ridiculous they're just crazy stuff i give stuff away tonight we did the prize wheel with uh, the stickers i've got some knives laid out that i have not reviewed yet and i just sort of chat with people whatever you guys want to talk about mirror g top recommendation for a knife around 150 dollars us say it with me everybody the Benjamin Griptilian, or in this case, the Ritter Hogue. This is a KnifeWorks exclusive, American-made M390 G10. It is the Griptilian, but better uh, in pretty much every way. Um, this is my absolute number one recommendation for that price. I think it's $159, 100%. Smock giveaway is next weekend, along with the seven other knives I'm giving away. And I will, I don't worry, I'll release a video uh, showcasing every knife that I'm giving away. It'll be on the same day as the live stream. That's the video that you guys will use to enter. And then I will draw the names of the winners live on the live stream. And I'll do a winner like every 10 minutes. That way, everybody's got, because I've mentioned it four times now, everybody's got plenty of time. Most of you guys are aware of it, right? I did two other videos where I mentioned it. This live stream now, everybody's aware. Um, You'll have plenty of time to be ready for it. The video will drop next Saturday. You'll enter and then I'll do the live stream that evening. And then that incentivizes people to stick around in the live stream because I, I draw names for all the different. Yeah, everybody has an equal chance to win. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, for sure, Tim. For sure. Going, you're, going to, you're going camping next weekend. Well, hey. Um, well, boy, that, that does make it rough. If there's any way, you know, for you to, if you have just enough cell phone signal to just comment, uh, there'll be a video posted that's like 30K giveaway knife reveal or something like that. All you have to do is comment on that video and you're entered. Even if you're not watching the live stream, you're entered and I will leave a comment under your, I'll try to leave a comment under your comment saying, hey, you won, right? That's all you have to do. Stasa, 23, what's up, man? Thanks for, uh, thanks for uh, popping in. Yeah, and the last time I did a live giveaway was at 20,000, and there were almost 400 people in there. So I'm guessing there will be a lot of people in there. K Night Raven M, in your opinion, what's the best deal for edge retention and stainless properties? I mean, you're, you're talking about the two, the ratios between the two? It's probably um, M390. Uh, as far as like super, super high edge retention goes and really good corrosion resistance goes, like for example, LC two hundred N is substantially. It's like it's like you know it's totally stainless. Like it's almost impossible for it to corrode. But it doesn't have nearly the edge retention, right? Uh, if fourteen percent chromium is the line, I don't know. It has to do with how much carbon content is in it. But generally speaking, fourteen percent is the line for stainless steel, right? So if fourteen percent chromium is stainless, M three ninety's got twenty percent chromium, or something like that. And it's got edge retention that is around the equivalent, uh, heat treated properly, of course, uh, of M4. I think it's M390. I think those are the best ratios you can get. Is S30V versus M390 worth the cost difference? I mean, do, for, for the vast majority of people, they're not gonna notice it. If you break down boxes every day, you use your knives every single day, and you're, you're cutting like, you're not doing like heavy duty cutting, you're doing like continuous cutting against materials that are substantially softer than, than the steel that you're cutting it with. Uh, yeah, then M39, you're gonna notice the difference in edge retention, right? Like somebody who is constantly cutting cardboard day in and day out, they're definitely gonna notice that extra edge retention. For EDC, getting your knife out three, four, five, six times a week, just cutting open some random crap, no, you're probably not gonna notice it. Super K, what's up? I got your knife on the table, buddy. And I, I promise you, you're getting it back soon. <laughs> that video is coming. 
Uh, I'm liking the red of that smock more and more looking at it. Yeah, the red smock is pretty sweet. I, I honestly should have ordered two. One for you guys and one for me. Uh, this is beautiful. By the way, whoever wins this, just so your mind is at ease, this knife will remain untouched completely other than me just fidgeting with it. I will not attempt to sharpen it. I will not attempt to take it apart or adjust it in any way. You will get the box and every last little thing that it came with. I will make sure that your experience is exactly the same as mine. And I think we had, did somebody donate? Top recommendation for, oh, no, 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 never mind. Okay, I'm wrong, sorry. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's 10.03. We're gonna go a little past tonight, guys, because I did the wheel for so long and I wanna chat with you guys. We're gonna go for, we're gonna go till 10.15 tonight. Best production heat treats? Uh, tell me if you guys agree with me, Spider Co. Spider Co is on point with their heat. They are so consistent. Spyderco, not to say that like, like Benchmade's pretty good too, you know, but man, Spyderco, like I have to give it to them because they use so many different types of steel. And you know what? I'll give it to Cold Steel as well. They're pretty darn close. They have a few steels they like to stick with, right? Spyderco will use anything and they will almost always get it exactly right. Spyderco, definitely. Cold Steel's great. So is Benchmade. Spyderco. Tristan Murphy, thank you so much. Well, I can. You're right, you can. Thank you. That's nice of you. Wicked. Are your giveaways Patreon only? And yes, Spider Co. So I do two different types of... So I always do giveaways for everybody who watches my channel. And then I do separate private giveaways for people who join my Patreon. There are a lot of fun and secret things that go on at Patreon. There's always one video that I upload every week on Friday. Um, I have exclusive stickers that I give away there. Um, I have other exclusive gear that I give away there. We have a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool stuff that happens on Patreon, but I can't talk too much about it because I don't want to incentivize somebody like gambling, like just paying me monthly to try and win something. I only want people to support me if they genuinely want to support me. But we do do fun things on, on uh, Patreon, and I have almost perfectly consistently uploaded a exclusive Friday uh, Patreon video for two years. So, yeah, it's fun. There's a Patreon link down in the description if you want to. But if not, that's okay, too, because the content here will always be free. Always. And it uh, looks like I'm locked in on two uploads a day for a while. Got the M390 smock, and it's the sharpest knife out of the box I've ever gotten. Wicked sharp. Yeah, the hollow grind on that thing is crazy. Absolutely. MC the Knife Diddler. I certainly am. I'm known by uh, many names, but... Uh, I'll add that one to the list. <laughs> Jabonk, welcome to the Knights of the Round. Uh, the Knights of the Round. Enjoy the badging system and your exclusive Excalibur emojis. Uh, all hail Jabonk. Very cool. Thank you very much. If you want to join Knights of the Round, the link is right at the top of the description in this very live stream. Very cool. You guys are awesome as usual. Well, I got rid of the wheel and now there's more people in here. <laughs> I need to do another, so listen, just so you guys know, I know you guys like the regular chatty live streams, like where I don't do some gimmicky thing, um, and every now and then I'll do that, because I like to cater to lots of different people, um, so after we do the 30k live giveaway live stream, I will do a regular knives and nonsense where I just lay out knives and we just chat, no, no, you know, like, interactive like we'll do the interactive stuff periodically but i'll do a plain live stream because people tell me they're like you know i like the fun like you play the games and stuff but I, like people want to chat about knives and you get too hung up on the other stuff so yeah we'll do that um we'll go back and do a regular we'll just chat it up stasa 23 thank you so much if you're not subscribed to stasa 23 you should be he's got excellent content been a part of the knife community for I mean, he's been a part of the YouTube knife community longer than I have. Um, and he's awesome. His content's awesome. He knows his stuff. And he says, go hit that like button. I agree. There's 120 people in here and only 86 likes and one salty dislike. If you care about my ego, even in the slightest, for the love of all things that are good, like this live stream. Also, are all 117 of you subscribed? I have a huge giveaway coming up, and if you're not subscribed, you're going to miss that notification. So if you don't know, you better check. How creative was that, getting people to uh, subscribe, right? You got to be crafty to make it on YouTube. 
Not really. You, I honestly, you for anybody who's wondering, you just have to. Uh, I mean, in my experiences, I upload a lot. That seems to have worked. There are a lot of other channels that do what I'm doing just as well, if not better than me. The one major thing that my channel has going for it is that I upload a ridiculous amount of content. I, I truly think that's why uh, I got to 30K. So if you're thinking about uploading or starting a YouTube channel or you've got one and you're trying to get it to take off, volume is key. It, YouTube, The YouTube algorithm loves volume. It does take a long time to get going. It took me a year to get to a thousand subs. Uh, but man, once it gets rolling, that's, yeah, volume lots of uploads that'll do it uh gross bad rad um nobody cares <laughs> serious keep that out of the live stream have you ever owned any spider coast slip joints like the uk pk no i haven't but i know that a lot of people you know really like stuff like that so uh, maybe i should take a look at it want to break 100 subs yeah, do you know how, you know what, a one minute, it took me three months. Uh, it was like three and a half or four months when I started my channel to break 100, definitely. Here, I'll help you out. Uh, everybody who's watching right now, stop watching my live stream and go to One Minute Knife video and subscribe to him. He's trying to break 100. I mean, we can we can send a few his way. Seriously, help him out. That's, it doesn't, it takes almost no time. And uh, I've actually shouted him out in another live stream um, so yeah, um, go, go check out his content, right? Uh, it's, it's worth taking a little bit of time to, uh, to go do that. I remember trying to break 100 subs and you know what? I slice it. He shouted me out when I was a teeny tiny little channel, right? So yeah, I'll, I have no problem doing that for sure. Seriously, if you're not doing anything right now. Just go over to his channel real quick. Type his name in on YouTube, go over to his channel, sub to him for sure. Yeah, no problem. No problem. That doesn't take any effort on my end. Um, so I'm happy to do that for sure. <laughs> Tristan Murphy, I got you, knife fam. <laughs> nah, fam. Giant Mouse Ace Biblio, the Ace Grand. I've never handled the Ace Grand, but the Ace Biblio is a great knife. So yeah, there's my vote. Vote for the one that I've handled. Uh, let's see here. Getting the YouTube thing rolling it can be tough and very discouraging. But in the beginning, I wasn't doing it. I mean, I'm still not doing it just for growth. I'm doing it because I love it. If you're really passionate about something, um, then you'll do it whether you're growing or not. I remember one day I uploaded a video and it got two views and I lost five subs. And I thought, well, that blows. But I <laughs> just really like this is really early on in the channel and I was like, that's really a kick to the face. But I just like knives, so I kept doing it. That kind of stuff's gonna happen. If you're um if you're starting out on YouTube, it's gonna happen. But if you keep pushing and you keep uploading content and you're serious about it and you're doing it because you love it, uh, that shows through. It uh, comes through in your content and people will appreciate you for it and they will subscribe. Mihir G, welcome to the Knights of the Round. Thank you so much for joining the Knights of the Round. Uh, all hail, Mihir G. Enjoy your badging system and exclusive Excalibur emojis, friend. It's very nice. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at pronunciation. We ever make, like, key fight tags for keys? Wait, what? Wait, wait a second. That, that might be... If I'm understanding that correctly, that, that kind of might be, would you ever make key fight tags for keys? Key fight tags. No, I'm not comprehending what you're saying. I'm so sorry. You have to explain it. <laughs> I'm not the sharpest light bulb in the shed. So I, yeah, there you go, case in point. Um, some of your early videos in your car and stuff, you can tell you were doing it because you liked it. I was on a vid conference with Nick, and they gave you a shout-out. Oh, seriously? They did? I didn't know that. That's really nice of them. I should go watch that. Was that the one where he was in... Uh, was he... When he was in his truck? I'll, I'll watch that right after the live stream. I didn't know that. Well, they're stand-up guys. They didn't tell me that they gave me a shout-out. 
That, so that's that's cool. That, that I mean, obviously, Slicey and Nick have an enormous amount of integrity, and they're great people. So um, that's cool. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I do. I still do it because I enjoy it. I just kind of developed my YouTube, my YouTube persona, and a lot more of my natural personality comes out now because I'm comfortable. I wasn't super comfortable behind the camera initially, but I still love knives, so I just I kept doing it. But now, like what you guys are getting is this is how I am in real life. If you ever meet me, like if next time I go to Blade, I will go to the next Blade show. If you meet me, you'll go, wow, he really is just really energetic and he yells a lot. You know, yeah, that's that's how I am for sure. You got my name right. It's uncanny. Actually, most people butcher it. Oh, cool. Good deal. I'm glad. Flight tags like what Flightanium has. I don't know. So, uh, send me a picture of exactly what it is you're talking about on Instagram, somebody, and I will cons <laughs> I will give you my answer after that. What we got here, 1014. Pickle time! What does that mean? I don't know, but my chat seems to know exactly what to do with it. So there you go. Everybody is, uh, you know, it's wield your pickles or whatever. Crack your jokes. It's pickle time. That generally, it means we're approaching the end of the live stream and people just sort of, <laughs> uh, people just do whatever they're going to do. Um, but yeah, uh, Guardian Pickle, hadn't heard that one yet. Mm. Acorn Pickle Knights Unite. Yeah, the so the acorn joke is that somebody brought it up that my badge is, uh, they're the MC helmets that you see, that you saw on the wheel, right? But when they're shrunk down, they look like little colored acorns. <laughs> I know. Yes. No, the pickles are coming. There's nothing you can do. It just is. I don't even have control over it now. I accidentally started it and I'm just, I'm compelled by the, the force that is pickle nights. The pickle, the pickle textured uh, MC helmet is coming. We have a design for it. All I need to do is wait until Sticker Mule has a good deal on some larger stickle, stickers. Stickles! Stickers. And uh, you, guys will, you guys will have access to that. What's the bottom middle knife right here? Civivi Odium. Great little knife. Ferrum Forge collaboration. You like little knives, would you still like to get a full four finger grip? You can because there's a huge forward choil in there. Sorry, I think I was holding it away from the camera there. Uh, oh, good. 62 subs already uh, on one minute knife videos. Yeah, I'll go ahead and give him another shout out. He's trying to break 100. So if you guys, he's right there, one minute knife video. He just tossed up a bunch of pickles. Uh, go sub to him. Let's let's help him. I, uh, I was talking about getting started on YouTube and how frustrating it is. Um, yeah, why not? Uh, it doesn't take you guys much time, and uh, I'm, I'm extending... Um, uh, a, hand, a helping hand to uh, somebody who's going through something that I went through um, early on. So yeah, take some time, type his name in on YouTube, go sub to him, right? And uh, you'll get more knife content. That's the best thing. We're all here for knives, right? Might as well sub to somebody who's going to give you just a little bit more knife content. <laughs> uh, let's see. Cool. Good deal. That is the biggest little knife I've ever owned. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's a great way to describe it definitely all right guys it's time it's time to uh my wife and i are going to watch a movie and i'm 16 minutes past the limit congratulations to everybody who uh won stickers tonight or did a spin and thank you for donating it was really nice again for the love of god email me if you won email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your shipping information and your youtube name i cannot stress that enough if you don't do both of those things, I can't send you your sticker. And I want to. I want you guys to receive what you what you want, right? So please do that. Uh, all right. Anyways, guys, remember, 30K live giveaway coming up next weekend. The video for entry also coming up on Saturday. So if, you know, whatever, if you're, however you approach this is fine, but... Be paying attention next Saturday because there's a lot of really cool stuff I'm giving away and I haven't revealed all of it. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for joining the live stream. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening and a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye.